So people with poor vision have a hard time seeing small things, especially when they're on a bright background. So I'm just gonna make the background here white and I'm gonna zoom way out. Also I'll draw a bunch of random lines around so it's even harder to, to distinguish what's what. I also made so the controls, instead of using the WASD keys, they'll use um, A5, M, and P, just so it's harder for people who don't have full use of both hands for them to play this, you know, in case they're like partially paralyzed or something. Um, next, I'm going to make a maze over here. So uh, checking Wikipedia, it looks like colorblindness uh, manifests either red, green, blue, yellow, or complete colorblindness, and that just means you can't distinguish between those kinds of colors. So I'll make a maze here that um, one of them you have to stay on the green tiles and don't touch the red ones or you die and restart and then the next section will be you have to stay on the yellow tiles and don't touch the blue ones um, and that's just to cover all my bases there so next um, I'm gonna make like an invisible audio based maze here so what I do for here is I just have audio cues telling you which direction to go and if you touch the walls you instantly die the invisible walls and so the audio cues I'm playing them really quietly Um, just in case, you know, somebody's hard of hearing, but, and, you know, you might be thinking, well, they could just turn up the volume and cheat, you know? So to prevent cheating, I'm going to play a really loud noise just randomly as you go through this maze, just constantly randomly playing this. And it's not loud enough to hurt your ears if you don't turn your volume up, but if you do, then you know it will be painfully loud. Another thing I did is I have it randomly alternating which ear it plays in, the uh, you know the directions of which way to go. Go left, go right, go down. That's just because sometimes people are like deaf only in one ear. And then finally, um, I'm gonna add in. Uh, some flashing lights and stuff according to the game accessibility guidelines website it says um, for when you're dealing with people with photosensitive epilepsy you need to uh, avoid any sequences of flashing images that last more than five seconds um, more than three flashes in a single second that cover 25 percent or more of the screen also mentions you know instantaneous high change in brightness contrast um, to or from the color red so it would be pretty hard to um, implement all of these things so i'm just going to go ahead and make just like a big red block and then a black block just to kind of cover a couple bases and then i'll have them flicker kind of 10 times a second and then uh, yeah we'll be good to go with that i think you know, I've covered as many bases as I can. I hope you found this uh, tutorial this tutorial helpful. Um, I'll include a link to the game in the description. Uh, yeah.